Jen, the, the breach at the U.S. Capitol was described to me by people I talked to as an attack on our democracy. And as you said, our own local officials were caught in the crossfire. Rosa DeLauro was in the chamber when shots rang out. And then the rioters broke the glass of those doors and they started to shoot inside of the chamber. <laughs> Security forces firing shots inside the United States House chamber. Representative Rosa DeLauro and her fellow legislators were just told to grab gas masks and evacuate when rioters broke the glass of the main door. What we were trying to do is to um, really reassure one another. There were a number of members. We were all together. That we were going to be okay. Security officers inside the chamber opening fire on the mob while legislators inside looked for an exit. U.S. Capitol Police found one, leading them out of the chamber. See, they had rioters uh, face down on the floor, on the third floor, and then they got us into, um, you know, they got us down stairwells, etc., and they got us to a secure space. That secure place is where they waited out the threat before resuming the certification of President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. They are not going to be deterred by a, a coup attempt instigated by the President of the United States. Capitol Hill has been secured with help from additional reinforcements. Defense experts saying security should have been more prepared for the day and the National Guard activated sooner. Just so un-American what took place today. I mean, uh, the, the Confederates never made it inside the U.S. Capitol, but you had violent protesters carrying a Confederate flag inside the United States Capitol today. It was a very sad day for the nation. State representatives on both sides of the aisle saddened by the event now calling for unity. The first thing we've got to do to unite uh, is to uphold the rule of law. And we'll see Democrats and Republicans standing together and rejecting this type of protest. Now, Ken DeLauro mentioned the protesters that were here at our state capitol today in contrast to those in Washington. These protesters came out peacefully to have their voices heard, and they were in a far more effective way than done in Washington. In Hartford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.